Today's topic is breeding jewel cichlids. I got a lot of questions regarding jewel cichlids. I have some videos, a playlist series. Um, my jewels just laid eggs, so I'm literally going to show you how easy this is. So, and if you're wondering why the, the light is out right now in the angelfish tank, that is because I have a algae bloom and uh, I don't quite know what's going on. I think that I need to do a deep cleaning because obviously the algae is growing on some, it's, it has a source to grow. Uh, I think the substrate really needs to be cleaned. I have some detritus that's uh, stuck in some spots. I'm gonna have to do a full makeover on the tank, move everything, get into all the nooks and uh, crannies. I'm babbling. Jewel cichlids, uh, they are literally, actually first let's take a look at these babies. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do a walkthrough on how to breed jewel cichlids. They're commonly referred to as easy to breed as black convict cichlids, but I disagree with that one. So what you do is you start with around five to seven fish, and the reason for that is because they are somewhat hard to sex male from female. So uh, the better route would be to go a species-specific tank with just jewel cichlids. If you're setting up the setup to have it profitable and yield the most fry, have a just a jewel cichlid species-specific tank in this case i have a community tank and it's a little more difficult because now uh when you put the five to seven fish in a, in the tank they are going to pair up and if they don't add more of them because maybe you just don't have the right combo set up um, and once they pair off they're going to lay eggs like you can see here in this 75 gallon tank but where it gets complicated this is a community tank so now i either have to remove the eggs and hope that they uh make it on their own or else i remove the parents and the eggs so i have to yet make the decision and it's it's as easy as that guys and once they become wigglers it's your choice to remove within a couple days the fry from the parents or not all right and since these fish are in a community tank i really only have a couple of ways to do this i could try to um take out the pipe that they laid their babies on or the eggs on and try to move the parents i can try to uh i can try to move the eggs and put the parents with them and hope it all goes smooth or i can uh pull pull just the pipe with the eggs on it and hope that they're fertilized and and hope that they are going to somewhat be born and raise themselves or i can let them become wigglers in the community tank and see how well the parents uh, fend off the other fish sometimes they can get super aggressive there's uh, it sucks when they're in a community tank I really need to split up take out the pair um, I guess the reason I haven't really done it is because jewel cichlids don't really sell for a lot of money but it's still I need to give up on that idea because uh, selling fry is selling fry you know like I've sold black convict fry and it's just like People are looking to buy fish, and I need to take action. Instead, I'm just uh, setting up new tanks. It's kind of my thing, uh, multiple tank syndrome. I'm always looking to the next tank. You know, I'm not, uh, I will claim defeat. I don't, I should have a bigger breeding setup than I do, but it's just how life goes. I'm obsessed with the fish. Uh, it's more hobby than anything. So um, let me know if you have bread jewel cichlids effectively send me some videos if you have some babies i like uh i want to do some more videos on breeding these uh maybe i'll take some videos on if what i decide to do if i want to remove these or let them stay i really haven't decided yet i've had bad luck with leaving uh fish in a community tank because uh, the parents spaz out and they eat their eat the baby so they're gonna come out i just don't know if i want to bring the parents with them yet so I should probably do it and just put the parents in a separate tank and that way I have the breeding pair in a separate tank for future use. So, all right guys, breeding jewel cichlids, awesome. Whoop. What's up guys, update on the jewel cichlid breeding. I have decided to remove the fish out of this tank and yes, Avery is with me today. If you haven't noticed, I do a lot of my fish keeping or uh, fish maintenance with my daughter because I really believe in having her be part, you know, I want her to love fish. So yeah, what do you, do you think you love fish? Uh, my wife thinks it's funny. We'll see how it goes. Maybe she'll probably be a reptile girl with my luck. So um, update 
on the jewel cichlid breeding. I've decided to remove them from the tank, like I told you there, and I put them in their own 75 gallon tank. And as you can see here, that's, those are where you can see on top of there the eggs are, but the fish are in here, they haven't really taken notice of them. So, geez, look at her, she's just freaking out. She's got my damn sleeve eating my shirt. Yes, you're savage. Uh, I know. Anyhow, uh, breeding fish in a community tank is kind of a, it's a bad idea. So at least if this, uh, if these eggs here don't make it, I have my breeding pair separated. And now for future reference, I know that the fish are going to be able to, you know, the future fry are going to have, uh, I'm, I'm set because they've paired off. I've separated them and I might lose these ones, but down the road in a couple weeks, I think it's like three weeks or so, the fish will breed again and lay eggs and the odds will be way better. What's up? What's up? Doing a water change, massive cleaning on this six foot tank. Um, it's a heavy bio load now that I've added a bunch more Midas. There was like seven Midas in that tank and I threw them all in there with some Red Devils and a Red Texas. So um, yeah, breeding um, jewel cichlids is very easy. Some people have compared it to black convict cichlids. I don't think it's that easy, but yeah. Um, hit up the comments if you guys have any questions. I try to reply to every comment posted. Yeah, and, and post your questions. I'll do videos helping you out. So, all right, cool guys. From me to Avery, see you later.